You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Project Paradox. Hope you enjoy. All right, Magni. So how many, let's see, how many are near me that I can get to? There are three and a half left, <laughs> literally this time. So I'm going to try to pick up two of them and smash them into the third one. <laughs> and just take all three of them out at once. Do it. All right. Can I, like, give him teamwork and assist him in this by, like, I don't know. That's exactly what I would do, though. Just like bat your eyes at me. You're doing no. You're doing what? I mean, I might. You're I might picking. Are you you're trying to pick up did. all three he, of he's them? He's picking up two and slamming them into the pit. Two. two. He's mm. trying to lift heavy in front of you. Well, I can do that too, and I'm raised out, so I'm like not really. Good. Yeah, she's like a Viking chick with muscles. So she, she picks up. Like, yeah, that's awesome. And you're like, I know, bro. I took this out. Right? Can I pick up one and we can just like sort of smash all their heads? Oh, together? like a high five. Now, but sure, I want if you want to pick one up and he's picking one up and y'all are smashing, a, like y'all are both like swinging them at this third Does that one. lower the benchmark perhaps, maybe, for for both? I'll do the calculations on that. Yeah, that uh -huh. works. Mm -hmm. She'll add in to teamwork. Oh, teamwork. Okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh. So <laughs> that, that brings it to 34, a, if I'm going off strength. Yeah. So 34. And do you have I any? have tactical. I think that would help. Add in there. hers. So that's 35, 36. I also have uh, tactics. Physique. Or... Physique. Tactics might help here. Dude, it's exceptional. So, yeah, it's exceptional. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we did this thing. <laughs> They're dead. Yes, those three are smashed. There is a splatter, and you are both covered in the black sludge. Is it, hold on. Is it exceptional? Like, do we get extra action? Yes. Can we take the remains of this dude and kill the other half a guy? That, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> do we have to take this action together? Uh, you can hold hands and run It's over exceptional, there so, like, we just get it automatically. If... Or like if I'm fastball special her or something. If I am covered in goo, my action is to get the goo off. Okay, I would like to kill the other half thing with my part of the exceptional success <laughs> while he worries so about he's the goo. So he's gonna shower. Yeah, he can worry about that. All right. So basically, she takes the broken femur bone from one of them and comes over to I'm the I'm thinking that's... more like the skull with like the spine hanging off of it. Never mind. She <laughs> has pulled a predator and ripped <laughs> the skull and spine out of one of them and is now using it as a mace as she smashes it into the head of the last one. They're all dead now, right? There is black sludge everywhere and some strange burning smoke coming from the debris at the Pretzel Palace, but yes, the ones <laughs> around you are completely smashed. And so I'm the action sequence polishing is my armor mid now because <laughs> i i kind of want to pull the rocks out of the hole now so we can see what's going on down there but i don't know if the action sequence is over we'll see uh bones you have seven of them that are maneuvering from around the room trying to close back in some of them are standing up trying to shake off the uh, reverberating inside their skulls He's going to take another shot. We'll see what happens. Oh, no. All right. I'll take that. Thank you. Nice gamble. <laughs> that was really bad. Bad enough to put it in jail. And then Heavy's Metal's robot hand jumps out of the wall. <laughs> controlled by the watcher. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so that's going to be 32. Nice. All right. Um, I did do the chaos shot, so. And this time it is electric. <laughs> and did electric. you add in? So and you the, already added the brick? That's the last shot with the brick? Yeah, it's the last shot with a mana brick. And you added in the five? And then the five is still 25. Jesus. Overkill. All right. All right, so. So how much damage was that? 25. 25. 25. All together. Now I erase the mana brick. There you go. All right. So from seven. You shoot out and like it's almost like lightning itself comes out the end of the barrel and lashes out in several directions as... Is it like lightning itself or is it lightning? The bullet carries lightning. It is a bullet with magical lightning, so it is like lightning itself. I don't know how to define it. Is it science that we don't understand? Is it magic that calls itself science? I don't know. If only we could ask well, Sam. It's a little bit both. of both. It's like one of those orbs, though. You know, you touch your fingers to it, and all of the, <laughs> the stack of electricity starts, like, reaching out everywhere. It's like that Einstein thing. Makes your hair go, like... Yeah, yeah, of course. So as soon as it shoots out, electricity bounces all around the room, and two of them just instantly <laughs> incinerated to ash. And, like, a third one is starting to lunge towards you and is burned a hole, like, right into its chest. <laughs> and there are four and a hole. And all of their hair is just going like So there's three of them, but one of them has, like, a hole in it. Mm -hmm. Black uh, ooze puddling out from the ashes and everything. Did we see, like... I or know, no, not the, from the ashes, the other ones. Black ooze puddling out from the one with the whole black mm -hmm. ooze, but the ones that turned to ash, none. I'm going to roll perception to see if I heard the electricity. All right, or so yeah, something of that nature. Heard the electricity? I uh, can hear lightning or something like it. That's a 29. So... I believe Sam is over there on the other side of that rubble, and we have just trapped him in there with all of those zombies. Whatever bodies. psychokinesis he uses to pervade the area, he feels a tingle throughout his muscle mustache. And he says, oh, electricity. Sam must be behind those those rocks. Can I like grab them they and pull them? just sound like a bug zapper on the other side. Yeah. It's <laughs> like using the force. Yeah, sure. Use oh. the force. Force it to happen. Better happen. Ooh. Oh. You have said that if you it comes out of the box that out. you're not going to use it. Now, if it's but still a one that. inside the box, I'm not helping you. <laughs> it's a two. It was the one that hit here. A two. Oh, was it? What? <laughs> I told you it's cursed. All right. <laughs> Seventeen. All right. So oh, the, the rocks raging. will move, but she is in a rage. Everyone else, roll dexterity if you are in the room with Brigitte. I'm gonna take yours out of there. Yeah, okay. it's not doing very well. I'm gonna have to do my own dice. This one sucks. <laughs> Twenty-one. Zazzle. I don't think I'm enraged anymore because that scene, the action scene is over, right? Maybe it's the fog of war. Zazzle is. Still All I know is I'm just trying to gank the rock. In her backpack. Twenty-six. Yes. Zix is not. But I'm like I'm not enraged. I don't Zazzle believe. rolled. This only lasts until the scene is over. Eighteen plus five. We've been saying for his decks. Mm-hmm. So that's a twenty-three. I, however, did not. How did you? Why would he have to roll if he's in my backpack? Uh, I don't know, but he did well. Yeah. I'm guessing the shield protected y'all. Uh, I rolled a two. Pitter plus pattern. my dex and psychophysiology. 
That's a 13? No, 12. All right. 18. It's not quite a one, so I still don't get For the Thalgrim. Favor. All right. Thalgrim basically runs up, and he's trying to reach out to protect you. Uh, but basically just manages to turn its steel flash and smash a few of these rocks as they explode out from the pretzel palace. Mm-hmm. Magni just... What did you get again? 26. Good lord. <laughs> just jumps up, grabs a hold of one of the rocks, debris, and then pushes off of it, doing a spinning flip in the air, <laughs> and then sticking the landing. He bows. <laughs> He's There's a fighting. shield forms around you, an energy shield. The, the, shield the rock just seems to be you. bouncing off of you as you lose control of your your control of the rock for a second. And you hear this. You. Yeah. Ah! So, give me a death save. Okay. Well, that's the die I've been rolling for me. I'm waiting to kill you. I'm trying not to kill you. Uh, does it guy. go on my con? Or just. I think roll it's a just D20. a number, and he has to tell you. Uh, you're rolling a d20 off of the con first, and then oh. we'll get to the actual condition roll. Do I add in physique? What's the damage? No. He's at one. I was He's at already going to so have to I'm do this. Going below. Uh, I rolled an 18. I've got nine con, and I've got a plus two to physique. If that helps. So 27 or 29, depending on whether physique matters. If you're rolling con, I mean, I would think it matters. So yeah, you test the physique. Um, and you rolled a what again? 18 plus 9 plus 2. So 29. All right, so you succeed. Now roll a d6. Okay. Got stuck. And roll a six. Oh no, what is it? You are maimed, sir. Yay. Like half his handlebar mustache is gone. Oh no. (laughs) (laughs) We're not that cruel here. Uh, but no. His face is fine, but basically one mustache. of your arms is crushed. <laughs> how, is, crushed. how is the handlebar mustache being gone? That is worse than worse. his arm being gone. Are you gone. kidding me? How long it takes to grow a handlebar mustache? A lot less time than it takes to grow an arm. Depending I'm, on the species. I'm, He's I'm got a broken ladder. My charisma He's can't take Broken ladder. <laughs> uh, I ripped my, my ladder. My charisma would not be able to take a hit from a Handlebar mustache hit. All right, so as all of this rubble, though, comes out, and he is, one of his arms is basically crushed under this large boulder. Sorry. I'm going to go with left. Nobody likes that guy anyway. Stupid lefty. Yeah. All right. Now everybody sees into the room. There are these three fully active demonic people moving towards Bones. And a fourth that's <laughs> kind of standing there with a large hole simmering in its chest. How is it still standing there? I don't know. That's <laughs> You didn't ask me uh, if you understood the biology of these things that you're killing. You just asked me if you could kill them. Incidentally, I chose the left arm because that's probably the one I would have blocked with. That makes sense. Right hand holds the blade. The other one moves yeah. with the reactor. What else are you going to do with that arm? Right. Let's be honest. Block. So, all the debris out of the way, this is what you see. Yes. Um, That was her turn to do that. So, I will... Fireball? Wait, I'm at zero, though? Or below? Oh, at six? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're maimed on the ground. You're pinned underneath a rock. Well, because you never told him how much damage he has so he's still at one like what is is he supposed to be at something else no he would be at negative i wasn't trying to attack anything i'm saying like i was just yanking the rock 
Oh, well, my full damage is different. What is your damage with the rock pelting? It depends on the distance. The like, I mean, it depends on a lot of things. When I'm trying to attack somebody, it's a lot more damage. When I'm just moving Shoes rocks around, the initial four. is four. So, I mean, it just depends on what I'm doing. Let's just do initial. So, negative. So, here we go from one to zero to negative two. Even past my DR. How much DR do you have? I have three plus one whenever I'm wielding my weapon. Which it would just, you wouldn't take any damage. You'd still be at one. Right? He's made. Yeah. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so we'll say I went to zero. Since we don't have work on, we'll just put it at zero, keep it maimed. Yeah. Because we don't have working operational things here. He failed. Yes. I mean, I guess if we want to say that I was still raging out, then yeah, we would have a plus one damage and we'd be fine. Oh, so yeah. She's Actually, pissy. Zero. We could get away There's with it. There's a full moon. She was pissed. Yeah. I'm um, makes sense. All right. I, so I he, yeah, you are pinned underneath a rock. Um, Who is? He is. Zazzle is currently in her pack. Correct. And has seen that she just pulled the rocks away. Probably missed that they hit Zix. Because he's paying attention to the zombie things. Right. So he's going to throw a fireball at them. Let's see what happens. Of course. Um, is it another gas man? Not exactly. Uh, that is an 8 plus it's 10. That's not bad. So we've been just saying 18. All right. Bows, roll evasion. What's your damage with him? Uh, he's doing four. Because he doesn't have the four. Mm. Mm. tell if it's good or bad <laughs> like we're it's all on the edge of our seats 16. here oh. alright what's your DR my DR is 3 alright so just one damage will leak through to you but it also hit them Yes, uh, one of them is actually on fire, running around in a circle now. Um, you also notice that your gauntlet, the lettering, the emblems and sigils on it, mm -hmm. are glowing red now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just letting you know. That's interesting for somebody who can actually see. It. And it is your turn. It is my turn. Okay. One with a, heart, a hole in its chest, two that are okay, one is on fire running around in a circle. The fire that leapt off, you basically caught it with the gauntlet, but some searing damage got onto your arm. Mm -hmm. The gauntlet got too hot. Yeah, it got hot. <laughs> well, he doesn't know what's going on with the gauntlet right now, but he's still going to take pot shots at these things. Oh boy. Because why not? Oh, that's different. I haven't rolled that one yet. <laughs> that means that it's not... Who knows what that does? <laughs> the sheet knows. And it's an 18 as well, and I'm not... It's frost. Oh, frost. All right. Oh, that'll be a nice change. This room's going to get icy hot. Oh, let it. So, everybody roll for me first to evade the fire that's shooting around the room from the gas main. Um, I think I evaded. Including me? Or uh, no, you're inside that room. You're fine. Okay. Well, Fulgum would still have to. Or is... Zazzle's you're, gonna assist her. Yeah, you're pinned underneath a boulder right now. No, so Zazzle's gonna assist her. Thank okay. you. I appreciate that. I'm because assuming this is AoE carrying. since it is fire. 
If she's carrying you, then she's going to add the teamwork to you, and you just bounce it into your shield. Okay. So I don't have to roll. She's you doing just, the teamwork. If he's That's doing the really shield, really good because I rolled a two and I have one health. Oh, that sucks. But so she's doing the teamwork for Zazzle because he's protected. Go Zazzle! Yeah. That would make the most sense. Yeah. You got this. I hadn't realized that you'd rolled yet. Oh my god, what did you roll? Jesus Christ. I have a Does Zazzle get favors? <laughs> do you have any favors as Zix? I do not. Then no. <sighs> I think this... no I've been allowing you the luxury do, of does getting Zazzle moves from both. Did you roll above favors. a two? What did you roll? Oh! Does he receive Did you them? get a one? <laughs> oh my god, I could have done better than that. Yeah, by one. No, <laughs> by a lot more. Oh, uh, my he goodness. did get advantage, or get he got the plus two teamwork from you. So one plus two is three plus ten is thirteen. Yep. <sighs> Don't worry, you've got your stone armor up and the shields there, which probably just dropped. It's four damage from fire. So. Uh, yeah, and then there's some the, frost crap coming. But. How do you do with your DR in the fire? I'm a zero. Okay, give the, me a roll for a death save. The shield was set up to do plus. Add that to any physique or strength that you, or con that you have. Con? Con physique, yes. Am I still raging out? I don't think I am. The shield you was set up to do plus two DR. Okay. It's probably gonna drop off of this. The but. shield does. 19. All right. Give me a roll on the D6, the square. If I'm near her, I could try to save both I got a of three. Us. All right. You're just slowed. You're stunned on the ground, What's basically. What's my actual damage? Or what? how much damage was it? Um, you said that only one would come past your okay, armor, so there is zero, exactly. And, and what now? Shield. Slowed. So anything that comes, you would get a disadvantage. Okay, but now there's frost coming, right? You get a disadvantage on trying to evade it. All right. What did Thulgrim get? Does he get chips? <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> what happened? He rolled a one. Yeah. Wait, did we just finish this game? <laughs> I rolled a 34. So. I think Mazio <laughs> will need you to come back next week. The game's all about you now. <laughs> uh, Fulgrim. So. Magnet a bunch of corpses. Can we just finish this so that when we get to graph, we can rest? And I can I'm guessing that basically he thinks everything's over and he's like shifting out of steel skin. He's like, watch that. <laughs> Fire. Like lashes out at him. <laughs> he's got a bald spot in his beard now. His beard's gone. Oh, oh no. no. It's it's fine. Cool. It's he fun. can just grow a fire one. Or steel one. Steel beard would be pretty cool. Now, Magby. <laughs> 34 is amazing. <laughs> you actually ran up a wall, cartwheeled down, spit at the fire, and it uh, sizzled. <laughs> that was can stellar. I roll my stun eyeballs at this guy? <laughs> <laughs> it gives me advantage. I'll tell you. All right, so who was shooting ice again? Oh, oh my gosh! All right, and did Bones? Ziggs take another hit? So this, no, he's he's, he's pinned at the pinned moment under rocks. So yeah, it's take... like he's the fire's like shooting around, like he's just kind of looking at it. <clears throat> now. This is being said up front. He is pinned, so. When the frost damage comes through, he can't escape it, or unless he pulls a coyote and like chews his arm off. I was thinking oh. of trying to use psychokinesis to that push could the work. Frost away. That could work. All right, and this would be a good time to rewind time. Yeah, I wish I could. he had precogged it. I know. Pre I'm just saying. This isn't with a mana bird, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 10 plus the 5 from the gauntlet? Yeah, it'll be 15. I think I'm dead. I could attempt to save somebody. 
Well, <laughs> you do see her hit get hit with fire, and Who she, it? like, falls down to the ground. Whoever is most in need. I think we're all pretty much in need, dude. Thalgrim's very close to oh, him, but he has the ability to use his mind. If your role is to try and attempt to save the angry lady with the big booze backpack, then That's yes. That's what I'm going to do. Actually, all you hear when she hits the ground is, Oh! From her backpack. <laughs> we had a, um, an awesome high five earlier, so. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> so Add be that. off of my... Let's say the dex, because you're trying to move fast. All right, so that puts me at 30. Let's see. Do you have any kind of acrobatics or anything? For, well, I've got to evade. So that would give me 33. You're just running to get hurt, but that clears it, I think. I also have my holy armor on, although I don't know if the it's the frost. I don't un, think he's demonic. Is it unholy? <laughs> it's not demonic. I, I don't think he's demonic. It's chaotic. <laughs> Wait. Um, what does it give you against unholy? Plus two defense against unholy. Oh, well then yeah. Whatever the plus five that he's getting isn't exactly holy, so I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Oh, it's a Hell Knight thing, isn't it? Right. So, as he lands on the ground, spitting at the fire, he starts to river he dance. No. On... <laughs> he spit on the fire? He spit yeah. on the fire, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like a just like blowing out candles. <laughs> and he sees you hit the ground. He's like, not on my watch. <laughs> and he rushes over and he just scoops you up. And as this wave of frost starts moving out against the area, now you see all of the demonic people just like spikes of icicles growing directly back out from them. He's like, and this wave is moving out. I like warm hugs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so I like warm hugs and long <laughs> runs in a battlefield. He runs up a wall and just like hangs on to some of the, the <laughs> like structure on the ceiling. He's just on stabs cradling you. into the wall. He's, and that's what it is. Hangs from and she's like, right. Use me to save her. Fine. I see how it is. See if we talk. You think that was evading the cold shoulder? Mm. I just, had to save her. I oh, couldn't just let her yeah, die. Had to. Had to. Okay. All right. Stop arguing with somebody imaginary in your head. All right. Uh, you're rolling. While you're kinesis. holding me precariously yeah, above uh, the ground. 20... I don't even think she's that pretty. Nine. <laughs> to push the frost away. A what? That works. So basically, hey, as you nice. see the frost wave moving towards him, Thulgrim, you would just look down and see this like, like a barrier, like a bubble, an invisible bubble mm -hmm. around him, and it just bounces. Am off. I like conscious? <laughs> yeah, in his arms, you're just. I thought uh, I was like stunned, or you're something. feeling slowed, but yeah. Oh, slowed. Since he was jumping to save me from the fire, he would theoretically be within range to be protected by that bubble. He would get an assist from it, I think. Okay. How bad did the room roll? Did the beard of protection no longer save him? Oh, that was a... Uh, from the frost, not the fire. Oh! Yeah, that the fire was just the existing damage Jesus. from... We had to roll again, okay. Yeah. Zazzle's not the nicest. There's two damages. Okay, so... 22. Nice. All right. So he just, I mean, he's yeah. Tiny Steel. He's whatever. He put starts it back walking up. through it. He, he put it back up because the beard started getting burned. He was like, nope. So <laughs> you've all successfully passed the Pretzel Palace. They're all dead. They are all dead, frozen, or. Where is Graf's door? All right. So you begin walking forward. Well, you begin to be. <laughs> Let down to the ground, gingerly. Or I can just carry you. Or no, can carry you. but thank you. Uh, I'm going to point out, she's still carrying Zazzle. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thanks for saving me. That's a lot of people in one. All right, but we need to get to <laughs> ground. I want There's to There's an ex-girlfriend in a sword. There's a man. There's a lady that he's carrying and a dwarf in her backpack. 
Do any of you need mouth to mouth? And the weight of a it's dead a, world a that she carries with her. It's a gnome. Not quite as heavy as a dwarf. It's a gnome. <laughs> They're gnomes. Sorry, yes. Dwarfs are heavier and made out of fire and rock. <laughs> Think about this way. We're chilling with our gnomies. Gnomies. <laughs> right? It's the gnome. So you find a, a, a door that's actually labeled service, uh, service entry. Yeah. Open it up. There's a long hallway. You get to the end of it and you do see that there is a lot of dislodged concrete and uh, structure infrastructure that had fallen during whatever the attack was that is blocking off this door. So now you have to do is get the door open. And knock on it. It is still covered by that debris. Can we not talk to him? Where is he at? Oh, yeah. You knock on the door. Hello? Oh. J- Jinx? <laughs> You owe me a soda. That's good because I'm quite thirsty. Thorgrim's gonna it's move. A totally uh, voice. Oh, sorry. Debris. I got a little angry. You were runes from before. <laughs> oh, that's right. Give me another chip. He is not moving in a debris. We killed all the people that you were scared of. Thorgrim moves towards the debris. He goes. Just wait and. S- oh. And that's when the grief and the shock actually hits him that his beard has been singed from his face. He hits the wall, falls to his knees, and shrieks out and ah! Which is when you realize one of his additional effects is Sonic Scream. Um, is no, John the Red around? Because he would totally be making fun of the no. Oh, he teleported to the action. John the Red is literally the door on the is like side of making the door. all these noises at you. <laughs> I want to roll charisma to convince Thulgrim, my friend, that his beard will grow back. It's not the end of the world. Sure. Stop! Oh, I knew you heard me. <laughs> my eyebrows are waggling at you from here. Where are you? I'm at the action, which is in the dark with this fellow. Open the door. I am hugging you. I well, I tried. It seems to be quite stuck. It's going to be okay. <laughs> you see that there is still a rubble and debris blocking Thank you. If you concentrate really hard, you might be able to look. The last time, the last time I was in a battle, I lost part of my mustache. Grew it back like that. I think I'm, you can do it too. I'm going to use my strength to just try to open it. Oh. Like to just move it. I'm not going to use any like kinetic stuff, but I just want to. Just see. strength. You don't have rage going, just your strength. I have a second charge for rage. It would give me a plus two strength. He, he but it, actually, I don't... Oop, actually, I don't even have to roll strength, necessarily. I have this as strength of the stag. It's just like a... Well, you're still rolling to move the debris out of the way. But I'm rolling off of magic, not strength, what I'm saying. I would like to make a conscious decision to stand away from all of these people <laughs> who seem to only be hurting each other. <laughs> That is a and good not the enemies. <laughs> I just, Why are none of you as good at pirouetting as me? <laughs> All I want to do is, is literally just holding just his crush Be arm. strong enough to open this door. I don't. I don't. I deliberately did not roll inside the thing. All right. All girl remembers inside. he can shape shift, and he shape shifts himself a beard. Twenty five. I rolled a, a twenty five to be strong enough to open this door. All right, so Magni goes over. He's comforting Thalgrim, talks to him, and Thalgrim goes, hmm. turns to steel, and then you see the steel start to shift into a jagged, sharp beard. <laughs> Huzzah! Just has to stay in that form, but yeah, it works. That's an impressive beard. As Why, she just you. moves past, and she's like, you guys are useless. <laughs> moves this debris out of the way and kicks the door open. Welcomed by a blue trench coat wearing crazy man. You found me! You oh, I've been you lost were, forever. We almost died trying to fight all these things. Where have you been? What things? Was it we Did you were, get out of my pocket no, again? We were at the action. You were not. Oh. Well I said go to the action, and then it smelled like mint jelly, and then I was here. And there's this man. And of course you all turn to see this. He's a darker man, light skin tone, kind of a, a, what do you call it, red bone, like yellowish, 
uh, dark tan skin color. He's got kind of frizzy, curly, crazy gray hair that spiked out everywhere. Uh, mostly seems disheveled and unshaven. And he's wearing what appears to be a survival suit, like a, like a space suit, but mm -hmm. more futuristic. It has been circulating essential fluids for him to survive off of. Ooh, that's gross. Recycling? I pull Super out like a flask and just hand it to him. Oh, Sorry. well, that is, that's very kind of you. I do appreciate. Here you go. I'm gonna hang on to it. Oh, it makes I a will. good weapon later. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff's in into the house. Uh, thank you for finding me and for providing light to the room again. I was working on establishing a connection with the Nexus Bridge. You see, I believe that there is an issue, or I guess a threat, rather. There are energy readings that I've been picking up everywhere. It's, it's completely bonkers. Okay, I feel very that. strongly that before we do any portaling anywhere, we really need to just chill and heal for a minute. And that's probably how you feel. Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah, I feel really strong. Uh, Zazzle gets out and like runs over to him. They start speaking like science jargon. Yeah. So basically he tells him, anywhere. if we fix this machine, this machine opens up what is considered the door to all realms and all realities. Not going through that until I heal. <laughs> just chill for a second just letting you know you don't listen you don't listen so he's telling Zazzle I need to be able to fix this this is what I've been trying to do if we can operate this then we can very intentionally move throughout realms they called it the Nexus Bridge oh well you I... look smart because you have many a piece of glass does it look similar to the portal that Zazzle already worked on from. Very similar. Well, I have some experience, but I don't have my capacitor. Uh, I used it as the key for the one I worked on. Uh, ah, perhaps, if only we had a large energy source. Perhaps if we just turned this knob here and maybe we could cross some wires to connect things. Uh, energy source. I do know a guy. Have you seen him? He's he's very shocking. I, yes, he has a bright red beard. He is standing right there. Oh. He showed up. He told me I was the action, and he hugged me. No, not. I did feel better after that, though. Not this one. Uh, the one I'm talking about was trying to help us free me of a small problem I had. Isn't, and he's disappeared. Isn't Thulgrim kind of electric? No. Well, Didn't he do something electrical? He had the eye beams. He did say power source. He didn't say electricity. Yeah. Um, perhaps if I work on it, uh, it could take some time. Though. And that I is what we shall do. Want. Now... The rest of you, as you gather around the room, what are you doing? I'm taking off my backpack. I'm setting up my bar. Ooh, she's taking off her backpack, setting up a bar. Dude, I'm ready to chill. She I'm gonna calls open it up Tin Forest. I'm gonna open up my bedroll. We're just gonna Seems like that would be extra flammable. So basically as she swings her backpack off her back, she just kinda like whips it and it goes and then like sets up into a tiki bar with nice <laughs> drinks out there's a, a pallet and a yoga mat and can I buy you a drink I own the drinks can you buy me a drink <laughs> <laughs> you can have a drink oh uh, the next so wait. I'm gonna go take a nap the Nexus thing is is working or is not? They're working uh, on it. They are working on making it work. Helping to make it work. Mm, okay. But it seems like it's going to be a few hours before we can actually get Many, it many hours. Enough hours to take a long rest is how many hours it's going to be. <laughs> um, well, I am... What's this for? You'll find out. He's going to compel you, probably. I am not convinced that... Uh, you people 
uh, can... I don't know what exactly you're trying to do, but you're all going to kill each other, so... I'm about to say it now. You're all going to die trying! I am going to go find a, a void portal and jump through it and see what happens. All right. No peace problem. out. But don't take my booze with you. Good luck without me, mother suckers! <laughs> <laughs> and Zazzle's turning around like, no, we're trying to control... Oh, he's gone. Um... <laughs> So we'll resolve downtime actions before we close. We're taking you a long resting, rest. So you're taking your I'm long rest. I'm healing up to six, six XP. Six is going to also long rest. We decided that's Does his doing. crushed left arm improve at all? I think my my health thingy is just going to rub a hole eventually. <laughs> I'm not sure how status conditions happen here. Uh, well, with status conditions, so if she wanted to get rid of slowed, she needs to roll... Um, you would both roll like a. It's a. It would be a physique test. Okay. To so successfully I'm, get over whatever the status I'm is. I'm seeing if I can set the arm and get it. To or use enough. the reactive the armor to do it, or to basically set a splint. Thirteen. What did you roll? You this? told me to roll physique. So you six plus. Con. Third. Oh, con. You have this eager. I don't know, do some math. Seven plus eight. Fifteen. You're still slow. Uh, oh, I'm sleeping. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you're sleeping. I'm slowly sleeping. <laughs> just write, <laughs> just write slowed on there somewhere so we remember you have that condition. Twenty nine. I don't know where to put that. With the reactive armor to basically splint the arm. Yeah, basically the reactive armor just moves in to set the bone and maneuvers itself even though you feel it and you're in oh. constant pain it's moving the arm for you that's gonna keep me conscious yeah <laughs> so you'd be taking a full rest as well bones yeah. what um, would you what would you think you're planning to do for your downtime first mm. like way that sounds. <laughs> that is what you're gonna be doing but would you be do you need to heal or anything like that yeah, I'd be healing, just healing and resting. All right, so how how much below your full health are you? Uh, just one. Okay, so you could take a partial rest and you'd be fine. Okay. Um, you hear a voice again mm -hmm. from within. Listen, there's a lot of things in this multiverse that piss me off. One of them is seeing smart guys standing around doing nothing. I say we get our hands dirty, get over there and fix the problem for them. And the hand kind of turns and then points at this one like power rod that's sticking out of one of the devices. Mm -hmm. Basically telling you to go grab it. All right, I'm gonna go grab it. <laughs> All right, so give me a roll. Uh, willpower would run off. Uh, uh, usually runs off wisdom. Wisdom. So give me a wisdom roll. <laughs> and do you have willpower? I do, 23. What roll? What? Rolled a d20. Whoa! He rolled a nat 20. These things, see what I'm saying? When Ronnie rolls to succeed, like, he doesn't even know he's going to do it, and it just, like, brings things together. Uh, so, you walk over, and, like, basically, as the two of you are talking, he reaches out and grabs a hold of this power rod, and all of that red energy in the gauntlet forwards into the machine, and the machine just kicks into gear. <laughs> And then you see each of the runic symbols that are around the machine start to glow this bright red. If you want to find out where this machine is going to take them, you have to join us next time. You have to find out if Magni's ever going to return or if he's peaced out, bro, and jumped through a void portal to save more Pure worlds. Wedded. Pure, Pure wedded. wedded. That is wrecked. <laughs> but until then, I want to remind you to click like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your friends and family about us. And then... Rejoin us next week and check out Project Paradox. Until then, be good to you. Bye.
I hope you liked this week's episode of Project Paradox. If you did, make sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out all of our other content. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, this is Laura Hibbert with Saturday Night Gaming.